this is Jim Rivas. I'm CEO of the Cloud Security Alliance. Cloud Security Alliance is a global not-for-profit organization that is building the trusted cloud ecosystem. We do collaborative research around the world. We have education, we have user certification, we have provider certification, and we have strategic partnerships with governments, Fortune 500, technology companies, security companies, and solution providers all over the world. I'm here at CSA Congress 2013 in Orlando, Florida. It's our fourth Congress, and it's also roughly our fifth anniversary as an organization. So the world's grown quite a bit in the last few years, and the cloud world has grown exponentially. And we've had a lot of great presentations that show a lot of this traction. We had some of the major cloud providers, Amazon and Microsoft, actually show some great traction within government, within large enterprise. And we've had a lot from the end user perspective and the enterprise perspective, uh, talking about a lot of the challenges they're having with integrating the cloud with a lot of the other new changes we are seeing. Uh, mobility is a key one. So when you think about the mobile devices that are employee owned and the enterprise cloud services that are used, you actually have this scenario of the the business happening completely outside of an IT infrastructure that might be built internally. So it's beyond shadow IT. It's it's mirage IT because all the key business is happening outside of the, the, the corporate walls. So these are a lot of the key issues that people are trying to deal with. And we see that identity is a big part of the issues here because you can have trusted identities and a very well-run directory store, LDAP, Active Directory, whatever you have, and you can actually extend that outside of the corporate walls through federation, through some of the key technologies, and I know our, our great partner here, CA Technologies, has uh, some, some good solutions in this area. We're seeing that that's one of the key things that people are talking about and looking for here is how are you actually able to provide that sort of trust with these assets that you don't really have complete physical control and so we've seen that that identity identity has been a key part of that this this whole growth of it's beyond cloud it's extending uh, the, it's led to well, one of our announcements that, that we're making this uh, week and it's a pretty exciting paper uh, software defined perimeter and the paper is pretty basic at this point but it's painting the picture of a vision of where we think enterprises, the technology providers, all of us are going to go. So you've probably heard of the software-defined networking and how that is reinventing how data centers work. And primarily we think about that in the layer three and below sort of um, perspective of how we are re-architecting how networks connect and how those servers actually connect via networks and how we can organize those things in a more virtual way. Software defined perimeter is Cloud Security Alliance's take on how we extend that up to the application level and how we create these what I would call point of use perimeters between an application and whatever that endpoint is. So that could be a cloud server. We could actually look at that use case being two different cloud, ser cloud service providers that are actually um, having a virtual private cloud between them. There's several different use cases. Could even be the Internet of Things, and let's look at a smart device of some sort, and how that could be incorporated inside of an enterprise network. So, the software-defined perimeter takes some some well-known practices and standards, and SAML, and TLS, and IKE, a lot of other technologies, and we've assembled it into a framework, and are actually working on a prototype of this that will actually show you how you could go from a mobile device, could have a thousand uh, malware infections on it, but yet the application that's running on it itself could securely access a back-end service, and it can only see on the network those resources for which it's entitled to see. So it's a dark network, it gets authenticated, it gets enrolled, and it can access those back-end services. Obviously, identity management is a big part of this, and obviously, as we're developing frameworks, we're expecting that 
technology companies, companies like CA will be able to plug their solutions into this concept and provide a tremendous amount of value, a tremendous new model for how we can secure our applications in our enterprises for those users out there, for whether it's an enterprise or it's a consumer B2C sort of operation. We see this model fitting very well. So we hope you'll check it out. Go to cloudsecurityalliance.org. Go find the Software Defined Perimeter White Paper. Get involved in the working group and get involved in some of our other activities.